Hello gorgeous, I'm Gia, an etiquette consultant based here in Los Angeles. Here is everything you need to know about art gallery etiquette. Art galleries tend to be hushed, peaceful places, so respect this environment by keeping your voice low and switching your phone to silent. Don't stand in front of the paintings for a long time or barge in front of other people and comply with any rules on taking photographs. I have been to so many art galleries where there will be tourists and that's perfectly fine, but they will hog on like just this really famous piece. I remember I was at, uh, I was at the Louvre or I think it was at Rijksmuseum in the Netherlands. And all of these people were obviously with a tour group and they rushed around this really famous Van Gogh, Van Gogh if you're from Britain, Van Gogh if you're from America, Van Gogh, whatever, so Van Gogh. So this painting of beautiful sunflowers at the Rijksmuseum and these people were crowded the heck around this one painting. And I really wanted to check it out, but everybody had like their phone out to take a picture of it. And I was so annoyed because I could not enjoy and anybody around this tour group could not enjoy any painting, but they were obsessed with like the mainstream uh, images rather than like, they couldn't look at an abstract or be like, oh, that's Damien Hirst. They just looked at like the really famous, famous photos, which is what they were there for, but they weren't there to enjoy the, the, the image either they were there to just take a picture of it and then move on which is crazy to me so that's just something to consider uh i am not the kind of person who likes to take their phone out um i probably would have a crazy killer instagram honestly if i took every video took every photo of every wonderful thing that i've done but um i really want to be in the moment and the thing is i think it's really tacky when people just pull their phone out to take a photo it's so embarrassing honestly when i see people take their phone out especially at an art gallery where you're supposed to see things in person the whole point of seeing these images are not to share them with a bunch of people and say oh, i went to this art gallery you can just tell them you don't have to show them a bunch of pictures that's actually quite rude to put your pull your phone out i have phone etiquette here somewhere and i'll have it linked below but um don't barge in front of people and comply with the rules of taking photographs because the photographs uh, because the images the paintings the whatever sculptures that are there are meant to be taken in in person and it takes away when you have photographs wear any specialist knowledge lightly and don't lecture others so my husband and i will go to um uh, art galleries and we even had a membership at one and we would go every single week or multiple times a week together and it was just our thing to do and there would be wonderful paintings that I was absolutely passionate about. Did I say a uh, passionate? Absolutely passionate about. For those of you who don't know, I studied art history and I had an art career and my father was a fine arts painter. So every single work of art, um, I have a huge opinion on and not just like I have a huge opinion on, I read about every single artist in the past few centuries <laughs> and I've taken many classes on them and like the history of why they use this color of paint, why they use this economically, what was going on in the times, what was going on in the history, what was going on in their mind, what was going on in their life, why they painted this. And I can look at like a Matisse and explain to you exactly what like Blue Nude number four or something is about and why and all of this like deep fauvistic fo thoughts. But um, that's not good when people are bored and, but if people are there who are genuinely interested and want to be educated about this, then that's good. Like my husband is always fascinated about it. So I'll talk with him for hours about it. And he'll say, oh, I think of this and this when I see this or whatever evocative nature it has. And I will go crazy and just like be like that painting, the painter was going through this and this at the time and also this and this and also this and, this. and some people don't like that. So just read the room and don't lecture people automatically. If you are with people who absolutely love that or want to learn more who don't want to get a headset and they need a docent do it it's perfectly okay so it's not necessarily to it's not necessary to like or understand everything but keep strong opinions to yourself you call that art or my two-year-old does better that is so rude and um as someone who has studied art and as someone who appreciates modern art i love modern art because modern art is like people always say i could have done that but you didn't that's the thing and people, this person made millions and millions on their career by doing this. And you could, if you could have done it, the thing is you couldn't have done it because you didn't do it. <laughs> so, and you would have been the millionaire right now. So I appreciate modern art because there are so many aspects to it that people don't understand. And they see it and they think they're an expert all of a sudden, though they cannot paint 
anything or they cannot draw a stick figure so or they, they cannot draw a simple portrait of themselves or their own hands so it drives me nuts when people just have an opinion who don't know anything about it it's like when people who don't have kids tell you how to parent your children you're like get out of my face stop <laughs> so i think that's really offensive just in general and if you do have a strong opinion i think it's perfectly okay to voice it to people that you are very close with who have a similar opinion or just with people who understand you um but when it comes to strangers or saying things out loud in an art gallery you're just gonna embarrass yourself so avoid doing this if you want to master social graces visit dixonetiquette.com and sign up to my free fine dining masterclass link below subscribe for a more elegance life thanks so much for watching and i'll see you later